Hey, let me reintroduce myself. My name is Sissy Moore, AKA Mickey Boo. You guys know me as Mickey Boo on Instagram at the real Mickey Boo. And so I've been talking to you guys on here for quite a while now, expressing how I began my journey with God and kind of, you know, recorded me along the way. And so now I'm at this point where I realized what I really want to do. And it's an exercise I want to practice with you guys called tap in and tap out. And it's going to say when to tap in and when to tap out, word affairs, spirituality, or consciousness, right? Um, it's just some key points that we're going to go over. I'm going to make them quick because unfortunately, we don't find a lot of time to take care of self and to grow. You know, we, are, we have a lot of distractions and a lot of things that we put first that we need to take care of, which is understandable. So I'm not going to use up much more of your time. We're going to get to this. Class is now in session. You can grab some writing material if you like. If not, you can just go back and replace and, you know, rewind it to see if the things that you wanted to, you know, look over. Um, this is called Tap In or Tap Out. That's what this is called, 2021. Um, so as kids, we grew up watching hero movies um, and it, we adopted the feeling of wanting to be a hero, wanting to save the world, wanting to help people. But in order to save anyone, you have to save yourself first. I'm gonna get into the things that needs to be saved before we can help or teach anyone. I went through this. The heroic character that I wanna be, that, that I'm picking up is a hope hero. I'm going to break down the word hope and hero and tell you why I picked that as my sole purpose. Hope is for help. Overcome problems then elevate or evolve. Uh, -E -O -L -V -E. Or evolve. Moving right along to the next one. Hero. We're going to use the word help again because it's all about help. Everyone realize opportunity. I want to help everyone realize opportunity in every moment of your life. Step by step, one inch, one foot at a time. Because that is how God has worked with me. And I know that it will work with you the same exactly the same way I am now living in peace tranquility and I'm seeing things so clear that sometimes it's feel like I'm looking at the world for what it is and now then took a step back and viewing everything it's incredible I appreciate things more I see things more see people telling the truth see people lying all type of stuff all right how did you lose hope miss Moore or what what are you what are you trying to say what is, what is this that you're talking about why are you talking about this because these were the key factors that I'm about to list stress heartache pain illness direction and as we get older, we lose a sense of direction because people think that we got it all figured out or we're supposed to figure it out on our own. And everybody don't go to church. Everybody, religion is different. Everybody's sense of direction is different. System, the system that was created, family issues, finances, Responsibility. Uh, 
Uh oh, let me take that out. Responsibility, obstacles. And material, number one thing, concerns. Our life is wrapped on material concerns. They say or we're conditioned to think we're supposed to have a home, a car, a family, finish school by this age, finish that by that age. It's so much pressure on us and so little direction and so little help and so little support in the way that we really actually feel and we don't talk about it. We go around saying we feel great, we feel good and we, we ignore how we feel and we react and respond so quickly, not even knowing we're using those emotions. So those were some of the things that we need saving from. Not that it's always a bad guy that we have to fight in crime, but it's little tangible things again, like heartache, stress, pain, illness, direction, material concerns, system, condition, family issues, finances, responsibility, and obstacles. Those are the things we need to what? Tap out of. I'm not saying quit. I'm not saying give up. I'm saying know when to pull back. Know when to, I'm about to write a new list of things on what to tap into once you have tapped out of something that is draining you mentally. These are the things we need to tap into. We need to lighten the load. Lighten the load. How do you lighten the load when you gotta work, when you gotta pay bills, when you have to support other family members or mates and things of that nature? The more you're attached to, the more stress that comes with it. Give away some things, release some things that you don't need. Learn how to give more back to yourself uh, by cutting certain things out. I like to cut out social media and talking to my friends at a certain time of the day. That's what I choose to do. And that helps me to be able to think clear and see what it is that I need to do and problem solve. Then you need to pray. What are we praying about? We pray all the time. We want, we want, and we ask, right? What are we asking God for? Because I ask God for the type of job I want, the type of income I want, as far as how much I'm gonna get paid on the job, plus the, any other business things that I'm doing. I ask for the hours that I want, and he gave that to me. So when you're able to look and do self-reflection and know what it is that you need and don't need, then you can begin to properly ask for the things that you do need that can fit your lifestyle and your schedule. So when I ask for these things and when I'm stressing and worrying and I'm overthinking, guess what I do? I take a nap. Why are you, how can you sleep when you're in turmoil and tossing and turning? That is another way to release the issue. If you can't stop thinking about it, or you don't know how to let go, when you don't know how to rest, you take a nap. I don't know what it is about letting go and letting God, but when you actually take your, when you focus on the problem, you're prolonging the problem. But when you can say, hey, you know what? I'm giving it to you. And I'm gonna show you I'm giving it to you. I'm not gonna think about it anymore. Z's, go to sleep. And I promise you, you will see things working out for you. All you have to do is remain calm in the chaos. Be still, that's what resting is. Take a nap on it, don't worry about it. I know it's easier said than done, but I'm telling you what to do, that's gonna help you get through that. Just, just try it. I'm not trying to sell you a formula. I'm just trying to teach you the formula that I learned that has helped me get to this point in my life. All right, those are the things that we need to tap in to. Lessen the load, lighten the load, pray, nap, and release. 
that's it for me like i told y'all it's gonna make it short quick fun i hope i hope that you can see what i'm trying to say if you don't just play it back you will get it one day but um this is how you start your journey with god or if you got off track and you want to you know um see where you can go and where you can be and how just things like this can help you in your life it's your girl sissy moore aka mickey boo You'll find me on Instagram at the real Mickey Boo, or my Gmail will be attached below, which is s'moresstudios at gmail.com. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for taking the time out and, and including a moment to your life of teaching and things that can help you. This is the start. Your journey begins. You are great. You are awesome. You are wonderful. I love you. Have a great day. Goodbye.